Venezuela's Minister of Defense, Vladimir Padrino López, described as successful the actions taken to counteract the advance of the Colombian armed terrorist drug trafficking groups known as TANCO. The high military official confirmed in balance sheet that at least nine individuals have been neutralized and another 50 arrested during the security operations against criminal groups in the border areas with Colombia. Padrino Lopez reiterated the accusation against the Colombian government, led by Ivan Duque, for supporting and financing these extremist groups that seek to destabilize the country. He also informed that 16 facilities have been dismantled, which have been used for illicit purposes, such as kidnappings, preparation of explosive devices and drug processing. And also, in the middle of a rise in criminal and paramilitary bands in the country, the Minister of Defense, Vladimir Padrino López, spoke from the Palace of Miraflores regarding the Operation Escudo Bolivariano 2022, which translates as Bolivarian Shield 2022, created after an instruction of President Nicolás Maduro Moros, and also spoke about the actions conducted by the National Armed Forces to neutralize Colombian terrorist groups. To liberate the sectors where these criminal groups that cause terror in the civilian population and the people of Venezuela could be operating. This has been an instruction that since the first days of January has been put into practice by the Personal Strategic Command through the exercise Escudo Bolivariano 2022 and has been deployed there. Recently, to speak of this week, it has struck a hard blow to mafias and criminal gangs, killing several delinquents and capturing others, gangs in Sucre that are dedicated to drug trafficking and human trafficking. And as part of his statement regarding the launching of the Bolivarian Shield 2022 operation, the Minister of Defense, Vladimir Padrino, stated that the armed conflict in Colombia seeks to influence the way of life of the Venezuelan people. Seeing how this conflict in Colombia seeks to project itself in different ways into the national life, it aims to influence our Venezuelan way of life through different means, through paralyzing the economy, through paramilitarism, through the use and recruitment of urban criminal gangs in the national territory, even in the capital.